what is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So we're gonna take a look at an awesome shortcut on iOS 15 that allows you to customize your home screen. Now, I've covered a bunch of this stuff back in iOS 14, so I do want to cover it here again on iOS 15 as some of it has actually changed a bit and it's just slightly different, so I wanted to show you guys how to do some pretty cool stuff. Now, the shortcut is called Show Board. And the way that you download this is through the Discord application. So you do need the Discord app. I'll leave the link for it for the App Store down in the description. It's free. And then you will need to join the Show Discord right here. Again, link for this will be down in the description. Uh, so just make sure you join the Show Discord. Now there's a bunch of other stuff here to, to discover. Um, but like I said, we're specifically taking a look at Show Board. Now, if you guys remember back in iOS 14, there was a couple of shortcuts called uh, Show Dock and um, other stuff like that that allows you to customize your dock, also your home screen. You can have, um, you know, icon shadows and some really cool stuff. So uh, this is the post right here for Showboard. This is the download link. So all you gotta do is come to the Discord, click on this link here, wait for it to load. Just go ahead and click on Get Shortcut. And we just wait for it to load here and then we'll just add the shortcut I already have it I'm just gonna do replace now I'm gonna I'm gonna run the shortcut and I'm gonna show you how cool I can make my home screen look uh, it's pretty basic right now I just have a plain gray wallpaper uh, using this wallpaper so you guys can see kind of the shadow effects and some other cool stuff you can do with this shortcut so if we go to our shortcut uh, shortcuts now as you can see there show board iOS 15 now we'll just click on this let it run and you guys will have some some pop-ups here you know just click on always allow that's all you got to do on the pop-ups it'll ask for access to like photo albums and stuff like that it's just to save the wallpaper as you create it now the first step is to select your wallpaper so i'm going to go ahead and select image i'm going to go into here and click on this wallpaper this plain gray wallpaper and at this point we have some options we can add certain styles of docs um some notch hiding kind of images, uh, shadows, and shelves. Now I'm not gonna go over everything that you can do with this shortcut because there's just an absolute boatload of different docs and different effects. But I just wanted to show you guys a couple for examples so you can see how the shortcut works and how you can use this to basically layer a wallpaper to have really cool looking home screen effect. So to start, I'm just gonna do a dock because that's pretty self-explanatory. And as you can see here are all the different styles of docs you can choose from. I like the one that's in user requests. So once you pick a section, it will give you kind of a little preview there of what the doc will look like. I think this one looks really cool. And then once you select it, it'll show you what it looks like uh, with your wallpaper in the kind of iPhone frame there, which is pretty cool. Now at this point you can click done and you will have some more options here. You can actually start over. So if you didn't like the doc that you chose, you could just do, you know, um, start over at the bottom there. You could use shortcuts to actually set that as your wallpaper right now. Uh, you could reset the overlay. So if you don't want to use that, you can remove it. You can change the wallpaper. So if you want to see what that dock looks like with a different wallpaper, you can do that. And then you can add additional overlays. And that's what I'm going to do. And that's what's cool about this shortcut is you can slowly layer everything on top. So we'll do add additional uh, layers here. And I'm going to go into shadows which is gonna give my icons a really cool shadow effect. Now, when you come in here, it looks like it only supports 11 Pro Max or 12 Pro Max. I'm not sure that might be what was downloaded because it might have recognized the size of my screen. So I'm not sure if there's other device sizes. I guess if some of you have a different device than these, I guess just uh, test it out and see if it works. But I'm gonna choose 12 Pro Max and the bottom style there. And it kind of gives you a little preview of what the shadows will look like underneath your icons. Now it's it's broken up so that you can pretty much put these shadows anywhere you want. So the first image is basically all of the icons. So if you had an icon in every single slot on your home screen, so that would be you know four columns and then six rows down, uh, that will cover all of them. Otherwise, these next ones are gonna be in a four icon kind of group. So it'll be the top left four the top right four, the middle left four, the, the middle right four, and then the bottom left four and the bottom right four. So if you think of this as adding these as overlays, 
uh, you can basically specify it wherever your icons are. Now, on my home screen, I have two rows of icons in the middle. So I need to put icon shadows where those icons are. So the first one is going to be the middle left. And now it's going to show me a preview once again of what this wallpaper looks like. I like the way it looks, so I'm going to click done. I'm going to add an additional uh, overlay. So as you can see, you can slowly stack up a wallpaper with all of these different effects. And it's pretty damn awesome. You can really make your iPhone look really cool. So now I'm going to get the other two, uh, or the other four icons covered, which would be the middle right. And there you go. And that's what our wallpaper is going to look like. So we're going to click done. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save and exit out of the shortcut. And this will save it uh, to my uh, photos application. And just click always allow here. iOS 15 is a little weird. I always click always allow, but it always asks me. So I don't know why it does that. But I just click always allow and it works just as it should. So now we can exit out of shortcuts. And if we go into photos, you can see here is the wallpaper that I just created with show board. And now from here, what I can do is set this as my wallpaper. So we'll just do use as wallpaper and just make sure that you pinch it completely minimal. You also want to have perspective zoom off so it doesn't look weird with the icon shadows and kind of the, you know, the, the overlay there. Uh, if you're using it just for the dock, I'm sure you could leave that, you know, motion stuff on, but I, I just keep it off because it lo looks nice without it. We'll set to home screen and let's hop out and let's take a look at what this looks like with my custom icons that have a custom icon effect. Also the new, uh, you know, overlay on the wallpaper with the shadows and the dock. I think that that, just that alone looks absolutely awesome. It looks almost like a jailbroken iPhone. Now, of course, you will be able to see the wallpaper overlays when you enter and exit an application. So if I exit, you can see there for a brief second, you can kind of see the, the icon overlays uh, underneath it, but uh, it doesn't bother me none. I think that this looks awesome with these shadows below the icons. It looks like they're literally just sitting there. It, it reminds me of a jailbroken iPhone and it's not. And I think it's just really cool. The amount of customization you can do with this shortcut is pretty awesome. Again, all of the links will be down in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw the thumbs up. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.